In this video, I'll show you how to remove empty rows in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I'll make quick tips and tutorials on how to use Calc software. To demonstrate with another sheet. Here I have a table of just new books. And I've already gone ahead and put in some empty rows in each of the book titles. But the quick way that will remove the empty rows is essentially filter it and then remove it that way. Now in your spreadsheet, you might have multiple empty rows instead of one, but this should work for you also. So what I did was I selected the whole sheet by clicking the top left corner. And the tool we want to use is auto filter. Go to data, choose auto filter. And now we see for my header rows, added these drop down arrows. Basically, this allows me to filter the contents of the column. So I can filter the book title, and this will allow me to filter by the author. Well, the key point is we want to select only the empty cells. So either I could deselect all the other ones, which is a little slow, or just make sure that empty is highlighted. And then we can choose this, show only the current item. Then it deselected everything else and choose OK. And now I only see the empty rows. So to remove them from this point is a lot easier. You can simply select from the first empty row I see, which here is numbered as row three, and then choose all the way down, even past all the rows that I have. And I can just right click and choose delete. And I wanna delete the entire rows and click OK. Now back in the filter, we can see that the empty option is no longer available. Now just choose all to display everything and click OK. So now I'm back to my table with just the book titles and no more empty rows. And lastly, if we want to remove the auto filter, we can just select the headers, go back to data, choose auto filter. Then you can see it removed those drop downs and the auto filter is no longer selected. So that's it for this quick tip. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to learn, feel free to mention it in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay nifty.